Hello and welcome to another episode of What Travis Says, the only show on YouTube that doesn't see a problem with wearing a Star Wars shirt when talking about Doctor Who. My name is Travis and let's talk about the news that John Sim will be returning to Doctor Who as the Master. And so many of you have been messaging me about this in the comments on Twitter, but I had Thursday's video filmed on Wednesday and then yesterday the stuff with NASA happened. If you don't know what I'm talking about with NASA, I'll link it down below. But now I'm getting to this video finally. And my very first initial response to this was that it has to be a late April Fool's joke. Generally, around April Fool's, we get like this weird Doctor Who rumor going around. I think another one this year was that Matt Smith was going to be returning as the Doctor, or that David Tennant was going to be returning as the Doctor, and now people are saying John Sim is returning as the Master. I didn't know what to believe. But John Sim has come out and said that the rumors are true, saying, quote, thanks to the power of time travel, I'm back. Now that could mean one of two things. He could be making a lighthearted joke about the show, or we could actually see the Master returning because of time travel. Doctor Who is a show about time travel, so it's completely possible. However, Time Lords don't generally cross their own time streams, although the Doctor seems to do that pretty regularly. So, the difference is that the Doctor interactions usually have purpose or reasoning behind them, and nine times out of ten, he remembers meeting his past self. It takes him a little while to piece it together, but he remembers. Except for the whole day of the Doctor thing, but it was necessary that the previous versions had to forget. So any interaction that the Master would have with Missy would probably have an influence on his time stream. Or maybe time travel is a way to bring him back from the dead, like resurrecting him, much like the last time that we saw him brought back from the dead, actually brought back from the dead, or Maybe this version of the Master that we're going to get isn't actually dead yet. John Sim's last appearance on Doctor Who was back in 2010, seven years ago, in the episode The End of Time, and at the end of the episode, we see him carted off to Gallifrey. And that time, the Master's death happened off screen, so perhaps this time we're going to witness the Master's regeneration into Missy. The crazy thing is, is that Moffat actually had this idea back in 2015. So, for all you Moffat naysayers who say he doesn't have a plan, well, Ha! Huh. He... he remembered. Moffat was asked about the Master regenerating into Missy, and Moffat went on to say that it was kind of an experiment to see if it could work, to see how it could work, to see the audience's reaction. But Moffat went on to say that although Michelle Gomez is Missy, that doesn't mean that we're never going to see John Sim again. Now I heard about this way back when, and I just thought that Moffat meant that John Sim could pop up in the background of an episode or two, much like characters in the Hooniverse often do. But no, I went back and rewatched that clip. Moffat actually goes on to speculate about a master Missy team up involving multiple other evil Time Lords all at once. He said that the Doctor experiences the universe out of sequence. There's no reason why you can't have John Sim as the master once again. So we know that bringing John Sim back to the show has kind of been in the back of Moffat's mind for the past few years, and he's finally able to do it on his whirlwind tour before he leaves as showrunner. I do have one issue with this, and I really hope it's not going to be that big of a deal when it actually happens, but I'm worried that it's going to be too crowded. I worry about things like this when it comes close to what I call Spider-Man 3 syndrome, where there are a lot of villains all at once crammed into a very short amount of time. Missy has never been a singular villain. She usually gets villain help from another character. The Daleks, the Cybermen, even the other Time Lords. She's never a singular villain in her own arc. My worry is that they'll cram the Master and Missy and another villain all into a villain storyline and it will be really crowded and it just it won't give everybody equal screen time and it'll it just it won't work but i'm really excited though i really love michelle gomez as missy and i loved john sims master and now we're getting them both together and i'm super excited the only thing i didn't like about sims master was that time when he was brought back from the dead and the the electrical influxes with the skeleton, it was just, it was so dumb. But the interactions between Master, Missy, and the Doctor will be the most interesting part of this whole experiment. Sims Master hated Tennant's Doctor with very brief moments of possible humanity, but he would take away the things that the Doctor loved in order to cause him pain. But Gomez's Missy seems to enjoy toying with Capaldi's Doctor to the point of watching him sink into the quicksand of his own devices. She will manipulate situations in order to have him make decisions to try to get him to be more like her. I would say that with those distinctive personality traits, the Master and Missy are two halves of a villain that would rival Batman's Joker. The Joker will manipulate, maim, kill, all just to mess with Batman. Capturing his loved ones, killing innocent bystanders, all to mess with Batman and show him that 
he's just a normal kind of crazy that anyone can become, but also toying with the fact that Batman won't kill him. So having these two versions of such an iconic Doctor Who villain coming together to fight the Doctor, my hopes are very high. But what if these two halves don't end up getting along too well? Remember what I said earlier about how meeting Missy might influence the Master's time stream? Well, what if the Master wants to take something too far and Missy doesn't agree with his endgame? What if Missy is the cause of the regeneration which births her? I guess we'll have to wait and see. In the comments down below, let me know how you think the interactions will be between the Master, Missy, and the Doctor. Do you think any of them are going to get along, or do you think that it's a match made in heaven and that the Doctor's going down? As always, my name is Travis, thank you for listening to what I have to say, and you will see me on Monday.